quarterback competition here at Northwestern between these two guys, Hunter Johnson and TJ Green. I, I want to start, though, on the end of, of last season for you guys. You made it to the Big Ten championship game. This program fell a little bit short, I know, of the ultimate goal of winning the title and going to the Rose Bowl. TJ, I can start with you. Interested in your thoughts, too, Hunter, on how you guys have tried to build off it. This whole offseason, our goal has been to build upon that. We want to win that Big Ten championship. So this whole offseason, our goal has been to – everything we've done has been for that purpose. So all the workouts, all the extra throwing, everything we've been doing has been towards that. And Hunter? Yeah, uh, you know, going off of what TJ said, I mean, this year, you know, we got a little bit of a taste for it last year, and um, you know, this year the guys are hungry to get back. Now that we've been there and um, experienced it, you know, we want to get back and win it this time. I mentioned you guys are battling it out uh, to start a quarterback. How has Coach Fitzgerald handled this competition in camp? Interested for me, you and Hunter, you can start. Yeah, I, Coach Coach Fitz has done a great job with with you know handling reps and you know talking to us on and off the field and uh, giving his input and, and telling us you know what he sees and, and what he thinks. And so um, you know for the most part, it's it's been a lot of communication between us QBs and Coach McCall. And uh, you know Coach Fitz does a great job of you know kind of letting us communicate back and forth and doing our thing. And then you know whenever he feels the need to, to jump in, he's he's good at, at giving input. Yeah, the, the quarterback competition has been great. Coach Fitz and Coach, Coach McCall have been really transparent with us and telling us what the deal is. Um, we've been splitting reps, doing a great job, both of us pushing each other, and uh, we're just going to wait and see what happens. Stay with the competition. So how do you guys compete and still help one another, or why would you want to help one another? Hunter, I'll start with yeah. you. Um, you know, really, this whole competition is about the team. And so, you know, we're, we're just doing our job out there trying to give our team, you know, the best chance to win. And so, um, you know, it's up to us to, to do our job and know what we're doing. And, uh, you know, really, it's, it's just it's about the team. It's, it's about winning games, putting the, you know, the right guy out there that knows what he's doing. And so, you know, that just comes to you know, us doing our job and letting, letting things happen. Can you think of an example where you tried to help Hunter, even though you're competing with him? Oh, yeah, all the time. He helps me just as well. Um, every time we come off the field, we communicate with one another about different looks we're getting, different plays, where we want to put our eyes. Um, we know that this competition is fierce, and we know that each of us wants to play. So we're going to push each other to the next level and make each other better, and the best guy is going to win. TJ, you mentioned explosion, and that's something that this offense has really lacked in recent years, and that was particularly apparent last season. Give us a sense of some of the players who you think could be explosive players. Yeah, uh, to be honest with you, we have a ton of guys. We have a lot of guys coming back at receiver, especially with Ben Skoranek, Riley Lees, uh, Ramad, Jackie Bowman. Um, we also have a, a stacked running back core, too, with Isaiah Bowser and Drake Anderson. We have a lot of guys with a lot of talent. I think we're really going to be able to spread the field out this year. Hunter, finally, give us a sense of the offensive line. That's been another stumbling yeah. block of this offense. You have a new coach in Kurt Anderson. Yeah. What have you seen there? Yeah, Coach Anderson's done a great job. He, you know, the guys are really, really picking up on what he's telling them to do. And, and uh, you know, they've learned a lot and come a long way, you know, since he's been here. And so that's been great to see. You know, the O-line's been doing a great job and uh, communicating with us and, and, you know, knowing what they're doing. Hunter Johnson, TJ Green, best of luck, guys. Thanks yeah. a lot for your time. Thank